students welcome back to physics with Sabdar. now you are watching IGCSE physics uh, exam solution series today we will solve some real exam question on topic mass and weight so without any delay let's uh, start the lesson of the day question number one the question number one is weight is an example of which quantity look at the options we have four options here acceleration force mass and pressure first thing we need to solve this type of question recall the definition so what is weight we all know will weight is the gravitational force that acts on an object it's very clear what is weight weight is a type of force okay what is weight weight is type of force and now you can answer this question easily acceleration no force yes but check the others also mass no pressure no now question number two the question is the mass of an object is measured on earth the mass is 5 kilogram the object is taken to the moon the mass of the object is measured on the moon what is the mass of the object on the moon so if you look this question the first mass is measured on the surface of earth let's suppose this is the earth okay and the mass measured is 5.0 kilogram now this mass is taken on the moon let's suppose this is the moon and you need to know what is the mass is measured at moon one thing you know well about the mass mass does not change place to place either you are moving from one place to another one planet to other anywhere in this universe mass is a universal constant that's why the mass on the moon will be the same so check the options it will be zero no more than zero kg but less than five kg not possible five kilogram it's correct but check the last one also more than five kg not possible so the mass is measured is equals to 5.0 kilogram question number three the question is which statement about mass or weight is correct option a mass is a force b mass is measured in newtons c weight is a force and d weight is measured in kilogram so first you need to recall the definition of mass and weight we all know well about the mass it describes how much matter it is composed of and weight you know well describes the gravitational force that acts on an object and you know well the mass measured in kilogram and force weight measured in newton so look at this mass is a force not correct mass is measured in newton no weight is a force yes weight is a type of force it's correct check the last one weight is measured in kilogram no that's why the option t is the right answer question number four what is the weight of an object it is very clear you need to recall the definition of weight and we have done before the definition of weight uh, i recall what's a weight weight is the gravitational force that acts on an object so look at the option a the force of gravity on the object it's correct but check the others also the gravitational potential energy no it's not energy internal energy no the mass of an object not correct that's why the weight of an object is the force of gravity on that body
Now question number 5. An object has mass 50 kg. The gravitational field strength on earth is 10 Newton per kg. The gravitational field strength on the distant planet is 4.0 Newton per kg. What is the weight on the object on earth and what is the weight on the distant planet? One thing, uh, this type of question I suggest you write the information given. Here we have two planets. The first is earth and the second it's a distant planet. The mass is given which is uh, 50 kilogram and you know well gravitational field strength means this is small g and it is 10.0 Newton per kilogram and you know well mass is a universal constant it does not change place to place that's why if the object is taken to that planet mass is same so you can write here same m is equals to 50 kilogram but the value of gravitational field is strength at that planet is 4.0 so you can write like g prime is there and it's uh, 4.0 newton per kg now what is the task the task is that you need to calculate the weight of that object on earth and distant planet you know well the formula of uh, weight the W is equals to mass time gravitational field strength so this is the weight on earth we are going to calculate the mass is 50 then you will multiply 10 and finally we get 500 with unit Newton now we are going to calculate the weight on the distance planet formula you know well W is used for weight distance planet you can write d here mass times g prime put all the numbers mass is 50 and g is 4 so you will get 200 and you know well weight is a type of force so you can write here newton now look at the option on earth is 5 kg that's not true so it's not correct on earth 5 newton it does not match with our calculation look at the C on earth 500 kilogram the number is the same but look at the unit kilogram that is not the unit of weight so this cannot be our option check the last one on earth 500 look at this it's correct on the distant planet 200 Newton that's correct that's why the option D is the right answer Now move on to next question that is question number 6. The question is an astronaut in an orbiting spacecraft experiences a force due to gravity. This force is less than when she is on Earth's surface. Compared the being on Earth's surface, how do her mass and weight change with go into orbit? We all know well astronauts are the scientists who work in space or in space shuttle. So what's the question we have? You need to know the mass and weight of an astronaut on the Earth's surface and in a spacecraft. You know well uh, about the mass. Mass does not change place to place. Okay. So that's why look at these columns. Mass in orbit and weight in that orbit. For example, this is the Earth we have. Okay. And this is the orbit in that spacecraft is there. Okay. And in this spacecraft, she is there. Now you need to know the mass and weight in this spacecraft. Mass in orbit. As I told you, mass does not change place to place. That's why mass cannot be decrease or increase so a and b cannot be our answer look at the third one mass in orbit unchanged 
it's correct but look at the second option the weight in the orbit decreases yes you know well when astronaut in spacecraft in that orbit the experience is low gravity it means low gravitational field strength is there and that's why the weight decreases c is the correct option but check the last one also mass in orbit unchanged this portion is correct but look at the last one weight in the orbit unchanged that is not correct so so c is the correct option this is question number 6 Once again thank you very much for listening keep watching physics with safdar for better results in exam suggest you follow the playlist of the channel here you can find all the lessons you need in your igcse physics take care see you in the next lesson share this video subscribe to channel press the bell icon for the latest videos keep watching physics with safdar